Okay, so here we have a strut um, of a two frequency geodesic dome, icosahedron, two frequency uh, half sphere, okay. good karma, and the width is 40, the th thickness is 20, and if you look at the 20 here, you can already understand that you're looking at the strut when it is standing upright and you looking from a bird's eye perspective. This is how it looks like. So this line, excuse me, this line really is this line. And the angle here is 27, 27.8. Mm. Let's lock it, 27, 27.7 in SketchUp. So, and the line down here is actually this line. The dotted line is this line. If we switch back to the top position, this line is the one at the, at the bottom of the strut. Okay, and so what's actually the blue angle? The blue angle is right here. 16, 16 degree. I don't know why Acidome is not putting a 16 there, but instead they put 19 minus 16. I don't know why. Um, it's not consistent in my opinion, but it, doesn't really matter if if you understand it so what are these two angles doing let's say you didn't have the red angle this red angle if it's gone your triangle will not look like a pyramid it will look like this um, let's put some perspective yeah, let's put everything into perspective uh, so this is Without the red angle, the the struts they don't turn on themselves, and they don't become this pyramid. You, but you you want this pyramid in order to get the geodesic dome. So here we. So this is how it looks like, roughly. Oh no, not like that. One second. What's going on? Why is this not working? I don't know. Great, it's oh, let's let's okay. So okay, so you can see it's kind of it's kind of tilted. This is how good karma looks like, roughly. Okay. Um, what else? So we have the points here. Of course, we're looking at it at it from above again. Here is our zero zero mark. Then comes our first mark, which is what is it? Um, eleven. Is it really eleven? Let's check it out. It might be eleven. I'm not I'm not sure. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, in my example, it's not 11, it's one centimeter, mm, like one millimeter off. So the first mark is 11, the second mark is, is down here, and it's 13. Is it 13? Uh, yeah. Good, it is. And the last mark is actually on this side. It's from here to here. It should be 23, roughly. It's 24 here. So you can see the numbers roughly match. On the other side, it's pretty much the same. You have to go 595 minus 
584 and they are mirror image both sides are uh, mirror images of um, the other so this will also be uh, 11 and and so on so this is half of the dihedral angle that means uh, the, di the dihedral angle is the, the angle between two adjacent faces. So if you take two struts and there's no angle between them, they're 180 degrees to each other, or zero, however you want to look at it. Uh, so now let's talk a little bit about the dihedral angle. So under this... This is actually those two here. Now I'm inside of the geodesic dome and I'm looking at the outer shell. So the dihedral angle is really this gap here. It's really this gap. I mean, this is how you do it when you're a newbie. Um, I guess. So if you want to measure a dihedral angle, you go and take this tool, axis, whoop, and it's in this case, it's 14.4. 14.4, that means this side, there's a strut here, obviously. This strut has 7.7, .7, a 7.7 7 bevel. And this side also has a 7.7 .7 bevel. But Acidome doesn't say it has a 7.7 .7 bevel, but rather it says uh, there's an 80, 82.3 degree dihedral angle. At least that's how I understand it.